It is an absolutely perfect day here in southwestern Colorado, and we are excited to take our first visit to Mesa Verde National Park. Let's go check it out. Visit is official. <laughs> so Mesa Verde National Park is unique in several ways. Okay, yeah, every national park is unique, that's true. However, Mesa Verde National Park was one of the first 12 World Heritage Sites back in the 70s. This was the first World Heritage Site in the United States. It also has a U.S. Navy ship named for it, the USS Mesa Verde. And in 2021, Mesa Verde National Park became the 100th International Dark Sky Park. So yeah, there's a lot more here than what we expected before we came. And we're excited right now. We're over at Cliff Palace Loop and we're waiting for just a few minutes. We're exploring the area uh, because we're about to take a guided ranger tour to see Cliff Palace. So yay. So the steps that we came down at the start of the Cliff Palace tour were actually built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, back in the 1930s. So was the main road coming into this area and wearing my CCC hat. Amazing work those guys did. Wow. Too bad. It's not it's not as bad as you think. Okay, so this is totally unexpected, just driving through the park. Came up to Soda Canyon Overlook Trail, and it's about 1.2 miles round trip, and we're gonna get to see some more dwellings, so I'm really looking forward to it. Here we go. Thank you. 
house. The canyon here is Balcony House. And a while ago when we were coming through, there's a Balcony House viewing point where you can also meet to take the Balcony House tour. Uh, but to actually see Balcony House, you have to come over here because we were actually on top. We were over Balcony House. They say it's a 38 room cliff dip dwelling with two kivas and it was considered a mid-sized village around 1200, the year 1200. Housed up to 30 people, it said. So today we are back at Mesa Verde National Park. Today we're going to take the Longhouse Tour. This is the second, second <laughs> of three tours that you can take to see cliff dwellings here in the park. Uh, we were able to do Cliff Palace yesterday, which is actually the largest cliff dwelling in the park that you have access to. And uh, today we're doing Longhouse, which is the second largest. We weren't able to get tickets to Balcony House, so we just kind of saw that from the overlook. Uh, but it's another absolutely beautiful day here uh, in this part of Colorado. And this is why we stayed a week in Cortez, was because just in case, you never know when weather's going to be bad. And sure enough, the first about three days of our visit was pretty much constant rain. And we wanted to make sure that we could do these tours. So we waited it out and we bought the tickets to the tours after we saw that the weather was going to clear up. And oh my gosh, have we been rewarded. It is absolutely beautiful. This is cool. This is 
good. Very cool. You have to take these two first. Yeah. So now we're going to go on the step house trail to the step house dwelling. This is the only one that you can do in the park without buying a, a ticket and taking a tour. So this is a self-guided one, but it's, it's a half mile in and a half mile out, but it's like going up 10 flights of stairs and down 10 flights of stairs is what they say. So it's a little strenuous half mile. So here we go. So this is a self-guided tour here at Step House, but for a dollar, both up at the trailhead and also here at the site, you can buy a brochure that walks you through and tells you about it. Oh look, there's petroglyphs. This is a kiva, which we've seen in other of these dwellings. But they said that modern Pueblo people replaster their homes every year, and that was probably the case back then. And they would decorate the walls with art. Like this one in particular had paintings of bighorn sheep. But in 1989, they removed that panel and put it in the curation archives to protect it. Nowadays, they wouldn't remove it, they would do things to protect it and keep it in place. But what really grabbed my attention was right over behind the kiva on that ramp, you can see uh, the hand and toe hold trail that's chipped into the face of the rock and that's what they would use up above would have been their storage and there would have been walls around their storage but that trail up that rock is how they would have gotten to storage. Yep. And those hand and toe rails are how they got into these yes. dwellings as well, yes. up, up the mountain or up the rock. Yep, and we've seen several of the hand and toe rails along the trails that we've taken on the tours of both Cliff Palace and Longhouse. That's Very good. cool. So the boulders you see going up here, this is why this is called Step House because that was actually their entry point, going up those boulders and coming back down, which is unusual, because normally they had the footholds and, and the handholds to get up and uh, yeah, out. But this one had a little bit different access. It's pretty cool. Steps. <laughs> <laughs>